Howdy everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Well, it's official, they just added the $2 trillion to the U.S. debt clot, or hasn't been added yet, but uh, who knows when that will be get added. $23 trillion counting, and now it's going to be $25. $25.5 trillion, and here's the stats. Go over to usdebtclock.org to see it in real time. If you want to learn about algo trading, how it can help you secure your future, Go over to quantlabs.net, or if you want to get yourself a little DVD or a web edition of it, let's go over to quantlabs.net slash DVD. Alrighty, let's get to it. So there was an article here I came across, Why Gold is Plunging Today, and that was put out February 28th. Now, as you know, traditionally, when markets tank, gold's supposed to go up. Here's why it's not doing what it's supposed to do. From that article. However, investors have started cashing in their gold gains to raise cash and cover losses in the market, basically covering their shorts. Further, gold investors now think that central banks will work to stimulate economies due to worries of deflation, which is bad for gold. I've already done a video on that. We'll talk about that in a minute, which is bad for gold since it thrives on inflation. Slumping gold prices weighing on gold mining stocks, that's because they'll make uh, less money on their gold production if the previous metal price stays lower. Now, let me go back to those videos. In my YouTube here, if you look at two videos I just put up a few hours ago, range bound and shaky retirement. Shaky retirement can something worthwhile looking at. Range bound is another one, but this one is in response to somebody who made a comment here, and they brought out their retirement or, uh, sorry, yeah, Shaker Retirement in response to this video called Take Back Control Now. So I put up a, uh, a response video from somebody on Shaker Retirement. So they followed up with uh, some other questions and mentions of gold. Here we go. By the way, gold and silver markets are the biggest manipulated commodities known to man, and the reason is simple. It's the trillion dollars in paper trades for gold futures. That's the massive problem. So what you're doing is you're trading out um, derivatives from gold, physical gold, and if you listen to any of the gold bugs like Peter Schiff, uh, he'll say you need to have physical gold stored in a vault outside of the financial system if things go crazy, but so far they're not because of this derivative paper. Goldman and all the big boys have millions tied up in futures backed by the Fed, and they dictate the price. It's that simple. If every future contract got cashed in for physical metal, then we'd be mining for the next 200 years to cover them. So let's talk about that, about the Fed. Fed is privately held, owned by the banks, probably uh, even by some of the elite families out there uh, that we don't know about. So the Fed is totally separate from the government of the U.S. So just today, they passed $2 trillion to be added to the bill that the U.S. government owes the Fed over this. So one day, who knows, maybe one day, the Fed may want to call in their debt, and uh, that would literally pretty well on the spot bankrupt the U.S. So any person that believes that the Fed really helps them is uh, somebody who needs to really uh, do better research. Because uh, in the video I talked about in, um, in here at Rangebound, I showed you a chart with the... Uh, uh, SPY, same as S&P 500, where these stimulants do not work anymore. Why don't they work? Because the market's in a free fall. You'll see a little spike, a little pop, and if the markets start to tank as of tomorrow, uh, they will, uh, that basically says that it's not working where they're trying because they're on their last legs. So continuing along, the problem is buying that it's not back physically anymore. Remember, the U.S. Government went off the gold standard in the early 70s thanks to Nixon. It's just all paper, my friend, and just another way to flood the markets with more debt. And, even, and more and more people are understanding this now, and they don't see silver and gold as a safe haven anymore. Most savvy people buy physical gold, but you try and get this, but you've got no chance, and that alone is telling you something. So right there says it all. Um, physical gold is no longer a safe haven. People are losing confidence in it. People are losing confidence in the U.S. government. People are losing confidence in the Fed. Okay, We're, it's literally on their last legs. Said Mario Draghi, said 
before he stepped off as he, on the ECB, the European Central Bank, he said, we have no more bullets. So that's where we're at. We are now in the last legs of this fight in this de deficit and debt. So give up paper trading and that market ages ago, <clears throat> just too heavy, he heavily manipulated, which it is. And um, we'll see tomorrow if this is working or not, this big bazooka. And the thing is, um, really, why governments are cracking down on crypto, because they know that's where people will go. The smart people will go. And as I said before, they, they can't control it. The blockchain, for blockchain, uh, the blockchain for Bitcoin is decentralized, meaning nobody owns it, nobody can control it, nobody can uh, manipulate it. So there you go. That's why the markets are dropping. You can get that article on Motley Fool here. Um, and as I said before, if you want to learn more, get your name in that quantlabs.net or you want to get that DVD for on the cheap, just go over to uh, quantlabs.net slash DVD. We also have it on Amazon as well. Just email me or get in touch and I'll do that listing on Amazon as well. Other than that, we shall talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a good day, evening, wherever it is.